We know some people who have some pretty hefty game collections, but what about 25,000 games, all of them on Steam? Patch notes in a recent Steam update mentioned a fix for libraries of 25,000 or more games. If you didn't do anything else, it would take approximately three years to even test out that many games. What are some theories behind who owns these libraries? That's what we want to talk about this week on the Free Play Podcast. You are listening to the Free Play Podcast with Bubba Stallcup, Matt Warmbier, and Kate Katawaki, part of the Love Thy Nerd Podcast Network. My name is Bubba Stallcup, and you're listening to the Free Play Podcast, part of the Love Thy Nerd Podcast Network. Joining with me, as always, is Kate Kotowaki. Hi. Um, what? And I just realized this was last week's when you weren't here, so it doesn't have your No, name. it's fine. You're the Bubba this week. <laughs> I'm the Kate this week. Matt can do whatever the heck he wants to do. <laughs> hey, Bubba, what have you been playing? Oh, <laughs> not, oh nothing. Wait, that was too low. Oh, nothing. Yeah, oh, that was too it. high. No, that's it. <laughs> this is going great so far. This might be one of our best episodes yet. Um, so glad you're all hanging out with us. I, I, I've like, I feel like I've not been here in for what seems like forever. I'm, I'm Matt, by the way. I'm, I'm still here. Yeah, yeah. Sorry, you weren't on the intro. I've missed a couple weeks, right? A couple. And then I was days. here, and then I missed a couple more. Life has just been like a little all over the place for me. Um, you take your goods, you take your bads, you take the best you've ever had that's the facts of life the facts of life um and i've just been we're trying to move and you can see behind me those are watching on twitch right now like i've got a lot of um interesting things behind me yeah what are some of the things there for I'm those so that glad are you, listening? uh yeah and if you if you're listening and you wish you could see them join us on fridays at 3 p.m eastern time you can see i got a paper bag with a bunch of wires in it Ooh. that i found in my my attic like man, what kind of wires? You're like, oh, you know, like all the wires from the late '90s, uh, plus some Perfect. Wiimote, nun- a Wiimote nunchuck, uh, that's in there too. Old, old uh, TV remotes, mm-hmm. but you, you can't. When you get to be my age, dads, dads, you'll get it, and and young young lads, you'll you'll know <laughs> soon. And ladies too, whoever. <laughs> when when you get to be my age, if you don't have a bag or drawer full of wires, you don't know what to do with. What do you do with your life? Well, you might need them, but you won't need them until you throw them away, and then you'll just look like a fool. It's true. And you're like, oh, man, I actually, I've done that. I threw away one I thought I needed, I mean, I thought I didn't need. And uh, it turns out I really did need it. It was a charger <laughs> for one of the kids' remote control truck things. And I was like, <laughs> sorry, kids, it's a push toy now. <laughs> oh, <laughs> you deal. Uh, well, you get- good. I just wanted to say that because you've been you've missed some weeks because you've been moving and house hunting and house searching Mm -hmm. and Mm -hmm. I don't want to brag but I saw footage of your new house you did I I shared it with uh, an elite you or if you asked me to share it I I did and I didn't give you the choice nor did I give Bubba the choice I just no you sent it to me and then you sent it to me in Facebook message and then you texted me and said I sent you videos of my new house because I couldn't text them because the files were too big. You can blame they, Aaron for that. They were like one or two minute videos. Yeah. But I really like your new house. I said it's very cool. Yeah. And I like the wood floors and the wood stuff on the wall. Yeah. It's, uh, it, there's a called. lot the of beams. woodwork. There was some the beams. Be- the beams. Yeah. The wood beams. Whoa. Uh, yeah. If if you are part of our Discord and you chat with me often, I will send you a video of said house. But yeah, we are super excited. For those that don't know, it's a house from sometime in the 1920s. No one can actually verify it. Some say 1929. Some say not that earlier. Uh, and we've just had the inspection yesterday, and there was nothing surprising. Did they Everyone, inspect for ghosts? They they didn't, but they said that they, the way he put it is like, well, I just have one more question for you. Do you like ghosts? And I said <laughs> they're okay. And he's like, good. Do and you then like he children away. laughing in the middle of the well, night, and everyone. I asleep? do. He didn't. He actually started to walk away, and then he disappeared. So I think he's the <laughs> ghost who's haunting the place. <laughs> uh, 
yeah but the, the house is awesome like we will have to do some electrical stuff and a few other things but um nothing major that like scares us when when we moved into this house it was like we had to do everything like absolutely everything like uh the room i'm currently in like there was a sliding door to the bedroom which was really weird currently where my monitor is actually with another closet so we like we ripped stuff out we put things up we there's a bunch of weird arches with dream catchers hanging on them and unicorns and stuff like that <laughs> um so yeah we're super excited we'll we'll be closing on this house uh this month no, no, next month. Nope. What month are we in? This We're is birthday April. month. Birthday, birthday month, month, so it's April. Next month, middle of the month, and then <laughs> we won't close on the other house until the middle of June. So we'll have some time to go exploring camp and hang out. Well, I'm really excited for you. Thanks, Kate. And it's I mean, good I to be back. The way I Thank said it didn't you. sound hey, like. I, I really well, I I know I know how how you react. I know how, I know your words. So well, so do you want to know? Since I turned thirty. Mm-hmm. Yeah, um, uh, what day was that that I had my what was my, just my just day? not long ago it was this week mm-hmm. so I just want to tell you about two things this is how okay. I started off my my 30s okay I went in a kayak mm-hmm. I paddled not even 10 seconds and I said wow look at me to Steven and then I accidentally flipped the kayak and I got dunked into the water and I fell into the <laughs> water <laughs> well the, the, now that you're in your 30s like I just have to ask like did you hold your bladder when that happened or i did you were wearing depends no i was able to hold it in okay i was standing on my tippy toes and i'm like what the heck just happened (laughs) (laughs) i was like it was like a shock to my system like that like Hmm. i just wasn't expecting to flip the kayak ever ever and then to have it happen in the 10 seconds right after i said look at me yeah hey i i feel you because i just fell off a skateboard for the first time ever i didn't like it I saw your yeah. tricks on Facebook. It hurt. Yeah, I got I got to work on them some more. But what's your? You said two things. What's your other? So thing? the second thing was the next morning. So this is my first full day <laughs> of my thirties. I woke up. I didn't have my glasses on. I was looking at Facebook and I saw a picture and I thought it was a baby. Then I put my glasses on. And was it, was it a, a hairless picture. cat? No, it was a picture okay. that Al Martin's posted of three tortillas or three tacos. <laughs> well, were I, they small tortillas? So I guess technically that could be a baby tortilla. No, well, it's like, and by tortillas, I actually meant tacos, like full-on tacos. Okay. Yeah, okay, okay. With stuff in it, like lettuce and all this stuff. And I'm like, what the heck? How did well, I think this was a baby? Yeah. Babies it just don't looked like eat a blob. Lettuce, and so. I'm like, oh, that must be a baby. Like Bubba's baby in like pictures looks kind of like blobish. Are your are your eyes that bad? Yes. I, I, it did. I, there was no inkling in my body that this was food that I was looking at. Huh. You might want to get your eyes checked for real. I like, get my eyes checked every year, and it doesn't well, ever get any better. Well, maybe that's too much then. That might be too much. It doesn't um, ever get any better. Oh, this what about what LASIK? You, did you think about I'm getting too LASIK? Scared. No, no, no. Oh, I would do it, but I also no. feel like my glasses kind of like they complete my look. You know, I did get yeah, some new I glasses agree. for your birthday. Yeah, sure. If you want to call them oh. for my birthday, um, I got some some like black dark frames, and <laughs> I don't know if I like them as much. I think I'm, I've grown used to. Uh, clear well you can take a selfie of you with the other glasses on and we'll put it on free play twitter and instagram and do a poll and see what the people okay oh i like it okay yeah i'll make that happen okay like, do you like this look for matt yes or no yeah. it won't be not. anything no i'm gonna do it hot or not hot or not hot or not yeah yeah yeah. hot or not <laughs> <laughs> it's perfect maybe aaron that will bring so him in uh, and we can show everyone on twitch during the the downtime yeah that would so. be great well, I this is the time when we do a little transition, but I forgot what Bubba normally says. Hey, you're listening so, to the Free Play Podcast. We'll yeah, be that's right, right back. That's, you're, yeah, yeah, I like that. You're listening to the Free Play Podcast. We'll be right back. Don't Zing. go away. Zing. Zing. Zing.
Welcome intro. back to the. Oh, how are you talking during my intro? I was going to help you. you do go again. Welcome back to the Free Play Podcast, friends. I'm Matt Warmbier. <laughs> no, we already did that. It's done. This is. We're going to go now into the section that everyone just raves about. Yeah, they're like I. I get so many messages, like just wondering and wondering, and I always have to say, "Save it for the podcast." No, Can't tell too. you; it's a me secret. Too. Well, it's what we've been playing. It's time. It's that time. Yeah, it's what. It's we've literally been that time on the podcast. It is. So, you've you've arrived, everyone. Mm-hmm. So um, you know what, Matt? I actually <clears throat> think that you should go first. Now, I wish you hadn't said that because I wasn't quite prepared. No, I, I'm fine. Um, <laughs> I haven't had like a super amount of time to be able to play a lot of games. I've, I've found myself falling back into my old routine, mm-hmm. old reliable, mm-hmm. and okay, I, I did actually play some Red Dead. I wasn't going to say Red Dead, but yes, I did play Red Dead. I also have jumped back into NHL 20. Mm-hmm. And let me tell you Happy that. You. Thank you. Matt Warmbier is not real happy with his team right now. He doesn't feel like his coach appreciates him very much. Uh, his fans are not holding up any signs, and he's <laughs> working really hard out there. That's so sad because the signs were a really huge motivating factor for you before. It really was. It really was. So I think I'm going to try to power through this season with the New York Rangers, and I'm going to try to be traded next season or sign a contract with someone else. Mm-hmm. Um, but it's it's fun, honestly. Like being able just to jump into a game where. They're not super long and I can play a a quick one and then, you know, go do whatever else that needs to be done um, has been 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 really good. Uh, But also because I've had my my second COVID shot and I'm fully vaccinated, I was actually able to play some in person game time with some people. Uh, and I was playing, I know it's, it's like a, it was a dream. It's, it was an incredible played some Lord of the Rings journeys to middle earth. Uh, I got the expansion for my birthday. Thank you, Bubba. Uh, and we oh, were Bubba able to get me a present. Mm. Yeah, he did. That it's right good. behind you, behind you. Ah, surprise. He got you that. He got you another one. <laughs> That's so dumb. Why um, don't I even look? That's- I don't know. Actually, I was just hoping there was a ghost behind you or something. Um, no, uh, he got it for me, and I was able to like meet with my friends, and we're powering through that game. If you haven't wow. played Journeys to Middle Earth, it's a you, you, it's an app driven game. So you play like with an iPad or a phone or something on the app, and the app tells you where to place the map tiles, where to place the baddies. You're moving your hero around. There's also like you'll place tiles on the map on the table, and then when you want to interact with them, you press it on the iPad, and it'll kind of like give How you the cool. story. So you're playing through the story of going through Middle Earth, and it's not like exactly like the the movies or the book um but yeah it, it's super fun uh it's really well done it this the expansion is harder for sure they they're kind of throwing out all the stops um, good you need a challenge <clears throat> really do really do <laughs> um and i've also we who want to be a little bit healthier in life uh have been doing uh hero trainer on on our phones like counting our steps and if you want to be a part of that, you can search for Love Thy Nerd in the app. Uh, we just finished the season. Uh, it went until April 19th. And we ended up in 16th place overall, like out of all of the teams. Like, I know what? it sounds crazy. Like there's 16th what do you mean? place. Like, like, worldwide? like because you, yeah, I guess so. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think it's region specific. It, it seems to be worldwide. And I mean, if you know otherwise, you can let me know. Um, but we ended up in 16th place. So you get like these reward points that you can use towards gaming gift cards. So we have this guild that it counts everyone's steps, adds them up. And then at, after the end of the season, if you place well, you get some points. And currently, last I checked, I haven't really looked today, we were number three in the entire app. Like what? all of it, because we want to no. be healthy, healthy nerds. Yes. Yes. Now, I think you and Bubba have talked about this app before. Yeah, but um, I, I downloaded the app and then I deleted it because I didn't want to do it. I made Aaron get on it because I was like, <laughs> you walk a lot. Like, we need we need your steps. Every steps count. Okay? You can buy us gaming gift cards. 
Uh, but I, mean, I do walk every day. And leave exactly. Oh, you just need to like. Know. You honestly just need to open it up at the end of the night. And, it's hard like, because it's like you guys told me to get it, and then that made me not want to get it. I get it. We're stubborn, Kate. I understand. But have I ever led you astray? Have I ever? Never have I ever. I don't think so. All right. There I it mean, is. You did say you really pushed Red Dead for me, which changed really your life. What was it was life changing. I was literally going to say that. Well, you're welcome. So, Look at us now. Red Dead for life. Red Dead. Uh, I think that's all I've been playing. Um, a little bit of Marvel United with the kids. We, we kind of like play quick games and Rhino. We tried to play Rhino and he like totally, totally beat us. Um, but it's a super fun game. And if you like X-Men, it's on Kickstarter right now. Just search for Marvel United and watch your money fly out of your wallet. So there you go. Uh, Kate, it's been a while. Tell me well, you know what? Things. Actually, you have led me astray because just a little bit ago, you told me to turn around to see Bubba's present for me. Uh, well, <laughs> I, it, that's on him. I thought it was going to be there. <laughs> you can't blame me. Um, I, I, I'm, I'm honest. Uh, I'm honest, I, Dave, over here. I hope Steven doesn't see that because he'll say it's not a good look for me. It's very embarrassing. Anyways. Embarrassing. Yeah, what have you been playing? I have been playing... The game Outriders, which was fun and fine, and I finished the story. And you liked it? You know, it was. I wish I hadn't spent sixty dollars on it. Oh really? There's not more to the game, though. I mean, you could do all the multiplayer stuff, and that's okay. That's what like I fine and fine and like dandy in that. I think, but I just did the the story stuff, and it wasn't terrible, but it could have been better. But also, it's not like a Mass Effect. Mm-hmm. You know, even though where would does, you rate it on your your favorite games of all time? Like, will you play not, the story again? Maybe if I'm really bored and I have nothing else to do. Okay, so that's that's not like yeah. Mass so it's pretty low. Dra- it's pretty Dragon low Age on or... the Kate scale. And if people are looking at Outriders and you're more of like a story driven gamer, but you're like this looks interesting, I would say get Mass Effect Andromeda because it's got the shooty stuff. It's shooty, got shooty. the it's got the exploring stuff but on a bigger scale more interesting story longer game just get Mass Effect Andromeda it's fine now they fixed the faces so it's fine oh I'm out then yeah no thank you it's fine but are are they going to add more to this game eventually do you do you know that I have no idea you should ask one of the developers. Hey, uh, Dev if you're in the if you're listening (laughs) or in the chat like uh, just let me know real fast please But besides that, I got a new game, which okay. was it's was the PS Plus free game of the month, which I'm trying to play kind of more of. So I oh yeah, games. was it Oddworld? No, Days Gone. Oh, Days Gone. Okay, yeah, yeah. And, and? I was kind of like, eh, I feel like this is just a knockoff Last of Us, blah blah blah, zombies and stuff. But it is not. It is really great. I really like it so far. Okay. I've looked I at it. I, I have it as well. I, I'm like, I should look at that. I should try it out. When I, I don't have it. like a ton of time in it, but I have enough to have gotten a flavor of like it. Like 40 hours I'm, already. Yeah. No, no, no. <laughs> Not even five hours, probably. Okay. okay. Maybe five. But it's enough for me to to have the, the vibe and stuff. The only thing, and here's where like the Kate incompetence thing comes in. One of the main ways to get around is you ride your motorcycle but you know obviously if you crash into stuff it damages the motorcycle Mm -hmm. I spend all my time trying to find scrap to fix my bike because I keep ruining it Mm, can you walk it's a long way can you You can you name your bike no you can't but you can do some custom stuff to it so obviously I'm trying to make it be like stronger so that when I run into trees and off cliffs it doesn't do you think you're wasting your time no, because I have to get around. Do you think it's well? Have you played um, Kingdom Hearts? A long time ago. I played okay, and you, had, you remember the gummy ship? You could like customize yes, the gummy the ship, gummy but ship. you didn't, didn't really need it. You just kind of needed it to get around, but you never had to customize it. Like for real, is it like that? Well, you could. The customization is optional, but obviously you'd want to put a better gas tank in it because you. I have to stop and forage all the time for fuel. Oh wow, this thing's like real life. You have to eat too. No, you don't have to eat. Well, I'm out. So, I just... Because I was kind of not traumatized about this game, but it made me a little nervous when I first saw all the hype about it when it first came out. Because there's hordes of zombies that, like, run and chase mm. you. And I just didn't want that in my life. Okay, so you do need a motorcycle to get away. You, yeah, but I haven't... 
And this is where it differs from the zombies in The Last of Us, is like the presentation of the zombies. So yes, there are zombies. Yes, it's a post-apocalyptic world. Days gone, you start the game two years into the zombie whatever. Last okay. of Us is 20 years in. <laughs> So, and the zombies are just different. There was this whole thing where they're like, oh, they're hibernating in a cave. There's 400 of them in there. Um, does he wear glasses? <laughs> he doesn't. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Well, that's the problem. I'm he doesn't. I haven't seen anyone that wears glasses. So is well, it, yeah. wouldn't that be like such a nice thing? No. Do you think like he can't see and he, he used to need glasses? <laughs> no, I think this guy's fine. He doesn't. <laughs> okay. Okay. Hey, I'm but just it's like. A, it's, it's a really cool game. I like it. It's open world. It's not like, it's just kind of a different, you can't even really compare it to The Last of Us, which in my head I was comparing mm. it to The Last of Us because that's the only other zombie game I've played. Well, here, here's a serious question. Are the zombies like scary though? They're... I'm, I'm not talking like they're chasing you scary. I'm talking like... In they, their looks? Yes. I mean, they're gross looking, but they all look kind of look the same. They just have different clothes on, at least from what I've seen so far. Whereas okay. in The Last of Us, there were some seriously creepy and gross there were. looking yeah. ones that yeah. really scared me, especially in The Last of Us 2. There was one called the Rat King. Oh, I've, I've heard that. Yeah, before. the Ninja Turtle. The Ninja no, Turtle, yeah. No, it has nothing to do with the Ninja Turtles, but it's really... Well, why these the same name then? Scared. Scary. Because I don't know. It just did. Maybe they didn't know about the Ninja Turtles. Uh, they could have asked me. I would have told them. <laughs> Because the Rat King was weird. And it always made me feel odd that his name's the Rat King, but he didn't like or befriend Splinter. Instead, he tried to ruin his life. You ever think of that? No. I didn't think so. <laughs> That's what I think about. <laughs> I don't think about that stuff. Well, now maybe, you are. Maybe you should pitch to Bubba your idea for a summer podcast. That would be your well, The Turtles. Stuff. Yeah, yeah, Turtles in Time. Where series. are they now? Yeah, it'd be a limited series. <laughs> <laughs> it could yeah, do really okay. well. I'm it sure probably there's... could, yeah. yeah so I could go on location. I could interview other turtles, like box turtles and like uh, snapping. Those tortoises? No, snapping. no they're, those are tortoises. I probably wouldn't talk to them. unless I'd, I'd, I would ask them if they were jealous they didn't get the attention that other turtles got. What, do you, what would you do if they don't respond? Just be sad, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> hey, you like ninjas? You jealous that these four brothers got to be in a show for the past 35 years and you're <laughs> in the desert doing nothing? What do you think about ooze? I got some right here. Uh, okay. Yeah. Somebody write this down. That's a good idea. I'm not writing it down. I'm <laughs> Turtles in time. Where are they now? <laughs> and oh, I would try. I would, I would find Kino too, because Kino, he, where would you start too. looking? Pizza place, raised pizza place. That's where he works, right? <laughs> Turtles do <too>, anybody? <laughs> uh, okay. Well, that I, was a good I, brainstorm I, session. Yeah, I'll, more to come. More to come for sure. That'll be the next segment. Um, so you think I should check out Days Gone? Just between between us. I mean, sure. Why not? You already have it. It costs you zero dollars. Mm -hmm. Like, test it out. Um, <laughs> there's a feature that I've been using a lot, which is using your bike to quick save. Because I've been getting destroyed at like at everything, I guess so I I just you're haven't gotten. It seem like this bike was really important. Though. It is. It's important. That's why you can't just. It's not the gummy ship, okay? Very important. Okay. okay. I guess they, just say it's, just say that next time. It's not the gummy ship. Okay. And I'll, I'll go straight okay. into that next yeah. time. But it, yeah, it's a different, really different gaming experience. I was treating it like it was the Last of Us, and it's like no, you got to be a little more cautious. Okay. Because well, all of a sudden they come out and start swarming you, and it's like five of them on you and take you out. So how do you well, how do you fight though with guns? You have guns and you have melee weapons that break. Oh, like breath. So of the I've been style. doing a lot of crawling through the bushes. That's what I would do too in real life. Try not to break my glasses. Yeah, exactly. Get, get some contacts. Yeah. Have you been playing anything else? No. Nothing at all. I don't That's believe it. that, Caitlin Katawaki. That's it. Nothing on the Switch? I had Graveyard Don't Keeper, but I haven't been playing it because I need to do some more That's research. my favorite monster truck. Mm. <laughs> OS Grave Digger. Grave Digger. My bad. Okay, it's two different things. <laughs> uh, <laughs> that was a valid attempt, but... I, I'm trying. Grave Digger is my favorite. Oh, you're trying, you're trying. Monster truck. 
But uh, no, I haven't really been playing anything else. I have school. Been getting my butt kicked by school, but I, and I'm like, I'm done. I'm done with this, but I have till December. <laughs> don't you get you get a break, don't you? I get a little bit of a summer break, which would be nice, but then it's too hot to go anywhere. Like if I want to go to the desert, it'll be too hot. I want to go. Go to the high desert. People do high that. desert. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I I don't know. I, I wasn't going to bring this up, but I asked you, Kate, if you, you wanted to go to Sierra Gordo with me for one day and volunteer. <laughs> I do want to go at, to Sierra Gordo. Yeah, at, at, uh, for the Ghost Town Living. And Brent. you told me no. Yeah, you told me no. Because I'm going to be heading that way here pretty soon. I know. Just think about it. I will, actually. We can go feed tofu and we can... Yeah, there's a goat there for reference. There's a goat there and its name is Tofu and it's a really cute little goat. If you don't know what we're talking about, check out Ghost Town Living on YouTube. We we watch it almost weekly and then compare notes. It's it's really good. So mm -hmm, I, really that is. actually it would be fun <laughs> because there's a good place to camp. That's probably like an hour or so from Cerro Gordo. Lone Pine. It's by Lone Pine, yeah. Okay, right yeah, there you Lone. go. So you know where it is because you've been watching Brent, <laughs> <laughs> but you don't really know where it is. It's in California, Sherry. Okay, it's in California. Anyways. Um, those are just a few of the games we've been playing. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Week those are, those and, are just a few. And earlier. Uh, we want to know what you've all been playing as well. So yeah, yeah. find us on the social medias. Let us know. Tell us what we should be playing. Find us on Discord. Uh, we need recommendations as well. I'm going to be going this long, month-long trip out west with my family, and we will have the Switch. Mm, so you need what Switch game, game should I play on the Switch? Let us know. Uh, and stick around. We'll be right back. And we're going to talk about how games. many games are too many games. <laughs> your, your gaming library. Uh, stay tuned. Twing. Twing. There's the break. We're back. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> and we're back. Today we have some really riveting topics that we're going to discuss. What are we talking about? Well, a while ago we did an episode. If I was a really good producer, I would have looked up what number episode ten. this was. But like I episode, episode 10 or something. <clears throat> but I forgot. But anyways, we talked about Discord's $10 billion deal with Microsoft that they were in talks about. And guess what? We're bringing some breaking news live from the studio. Update beep, 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 on this beep, story. Beep, 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 beep. That's just in. There it is. That's the intro. Okay. Discord has walked away from that ten billion dollar deal. I, I can't believe that. <laughs> I like. I didn't read the whole the whole details, but do we know why? Was it not enough? Were they um, going to try to have too much control? Or no. I don't know. You don't know any of those. Okay. I don't know. Personally, Maybe someone I'm, else knows, but I'm personally good with it because I feel like I know all you all you Microsoft Xbox nerds, uh, computer nerds are like you wanted it to happen. But I personally yeah. feel like Microsoft is buying up too much stuff. Yeah. I feel I like mean, they're trying to grab everything they can and bring it in. There was and some outrage because it had been mentioned also that the Bethesda stuff was only going to be Xbox exclusive from now on. Oh, is that what it said? Some people said that. I can't remember where I read it, which Rip makes it like, you know, sound not legit. <clears throat> but that would be really sad. So maybe Discord was like, be. we don't want to be treated like Fallout and we're out. <laughs> yeah, I if that really does happen with uh, Bethesda, then I will be sad. I'm not against getting an Xbox, but it's not on my list of things to do soonish. Yeah, I would agree. Um, 
but I guess Discord decided it wasn't for them, and I guess good on them. Turn down, yeah, that turn much down money. that ten billion. Stick they with may your, have, uh, they may get a better offer. I don't know maybe. from who. Maybe Zoom's gonna buy him. That'd be weird. I don't know, but I guess I'm a, I know. offered him ten dollars, and they just said we'll think about it. So I'm still I'm holding holding my breath a little bit. They're waiting to see like your interviews with turtles to see if it's worth worth it. Um. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not upset about uh, exclusive games. I don't. I don't care about that. But when you start buying like full companies, like I guess I would just rather have Microsoft make their own games. I don't know. Or like bring the build those companies up that they have already existing relationships with. Um, I don't know. It doesn't really matter to me. I probably won't buy an Xbox until they're like a hundred dollars or less. Uh, but I'll just enjoy my games. Obviously, I'm not a a I'll, I'm, I'll say I'm not a real gamer because I don't actually like a lot of the games people do. Like, so it doesn't really matter to me. <laughs> we'll see though. Yeah. We'll see. So that's the latest from the newsroom. Beep, 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 That's the outro. Yeah, that's the outro. Mm-hmm. Yeah, there you go. So today's main topic, I saw this story. I feel like I start out these things this exact same way. I I saw the story. It said, what the heck? Wanted to pitch it to see what you think. I read. Ready. There was a Steam update, which it's mm-hmm. like, oh, you know, cool update, yeah, that, whatever. Yeah, happens, yeah. Mm-hmm. However, if you went into the patch notes, it said that there was something done as part of the update to help out Steam users that have more than 25,000 games. Is that even like, I've been, like, I, I read that a while ago. I'm trying to wrap my mind around it. Like, <laughs> Here's the exact patch note. Fix okay. a possible crash for users with around 25,000 or more games. <laughs> I wonder if they're in, in click that I need to see this person's or people's libraries. Like how many of these games were free? Like, were they buying humble, humble bundles? I thought they, that same you know, thing. It's like, like 10 or 15 and like, I have like, like 35 versions of Monopoly. Have, you ha- it has to be humble bundle. I mean, right. I don't, don't know. Then, here's the question is, okay. How much does 25,000 games cost? Well, at least twenty five thousand. I don't know. At it least twenty five thousand dollars, right? So, according to Kotaku, which is where I read this story, mm-hmm. they calculated that it could equal out to roughly one hundred and fifty thousand dollars. Well, it could. Uh, it could be more than that. Like, it could really, be more like, than that. <laughs> I want to know what these games are before, you know. I I would. If, let's just say he paid fifty for each. How much is fifty times twenty five thousand? You do the math. I'll do the math over there. Okay, and I also like kind of like why? Like I know I would want to be in this person's will at that point. Like if you have that many games, like please write me into your will. Uh, I give Matt Warmbier. There you go. A lot of money. A it costs whole lot of money. One million two hundred fifty thousand dollars. <laughs> if if he paid fifty, was fifty bucks. I'm sure that they weren't, but. They're probably like ten cents, but still. I mean, we still. we talk about like our shelf of shame and the games that like we we bought and we never play. And you hear about people's Steam libraries and how they have so many unfinished games. Like my thought is like I could never see myself having a hundred games <laughs> I've never played. Like I do have some that I bought, and I'm like <laughs> I need to get around to play that, and I I will. But I don't have... Um, it's stressful to think about it. That's why yes. I never... I, I don't really have that big of a backlog because it causes me stress and anxiety thinking about it because I'm like, it's just wasting money. You'll sleep. never have time to play all those games. I know. They also calculated the time it would take to just try every single one of these games. Not, you know, finish. Just give it the old, the old whirl. Yeah. So it says, even if you never slept, never ate, Never did any of the necessary life as a human stuff. Never did anything but try games from your 25,000 strong game library. You would still need three years. That's ridiculous. To test out all these games. I thought that you and Bubba were pretty bad about 
Like, How dare you? Like, well, spe- specifically with tabletop games, you guys collect them all and they sit there. And I I, you know. I have been so much better about the games I buy making sure I play them. <laughs> I do have a couple in this past month I have not had a chance to play yet, but I also chalk that up to uh, busy life. Yeah, okay, For the most then, then I'll remove you from it and say it's just Bubba then. Okay, but, thank you. But, and like the, that, that stuff with the Kickstarter stuff, everything's always coming and it's just like sitting there. So, I... I am. I'm. I actually am pretty good about not backing everything on Kickstarter. But the things I do back are more money than I should spend. So I think it balances out. It balances out. I don't have well, twenty five thousand games <laughs> sitting around, Kate. Are How you dare sure? you? I guess you'll find out when you move. Uh. Well, I when we went to the uh, the storage unit, we were trying to find a pair of shoes that we knew were in there for June for our trip, and we just. We didn't want to go buy her a new pair. So Aaron's like, I know, I know that they're in here. So we have like a, a 15 by 15, 10 by 15 storage unit. Mm-hmm. And it's very full now. Like it's it's all of our extra stuff. My ass paper bag behind me. Uh, <laughs> and like we like, we're just digging through everything and digging and digging and digging. And Aaron's like, here's another board game box. <laughs> here, Oh, look at that. Another board game box. And I was like, I started to feel bad until like we were leaving. I was like, Aaron, like, yeah, there probably were a lot of board game boxes, but if you think about it, like I was only able to fit like max six big games in each of those boxes. She's like, Oh, okay, yeah, I guess that makes sense. So <laughs> I'm I can think, say okay. at least it's not twenty-five thousand. Okay. It's close. It's like no. twenty-four thousand. No, it's not. That's fine. <laughs> twenty-four thousand. Well, I, I need more information. I wish that they would have interviewed this person. I know. Or at least so, someone step forward and be like, hey, that's my that's my account. So Made they did space. reach out. Okay, they did Kotaku reach out. Kotaku reached out and said, um, and asked for a <clears throat> comment about what are these Steam libraries? Like, who do they belong to? They said none they of your got, business. They got no response? Of course. They, I guess it's probably a, a privacy thing. They got, I know. I don't, I don't think they could even share that anyways. It would have to be like super vague. But mm-hmm. then Kotaku came up with a couple theories. So I'll read a couple of these and tell me what you think. Okay, I'm ready. Um, number one, this account is owned by an eccentric bazillionaire with a compulsion to click buy now. Okay. Number two, same thing, but for someone who won the lottery. Number three, in 2011, Valve ran a contest where winners of the grand prize scored the entire Steam library. But that was in 2011. Oh, well, I think that that's still like I bet then there are still 25,000 games uh, they also said it could be a press account okay, shared I thought about by the that. staff press of a large or, outlet mm-hmm. yep it could have been actually them themselves like Kotaku like they could well have, then they, they said disclosure theirs. Kotaku has a Steam press account but they don't have anywhere near 25,000 I, I just looked to see how many games I have in my Steam library 107 really and I did not buy I'm pretty sure I games. have about 10 well, I, I think that a lot of these um, include, I don't have a hundred, no, 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 I'm sorry. I have 11, 11 okay, okay. of 107. On. There we go. Are you kidding me? You I t- couldn't believe it. Well, it just said 107. I read that number, but then I clicked on it and like just these games popped up. Now, let's see. I paid for, <laughs> I paid for one, two of these. One was Among Us I bought on here that I, I've now played before of one time mm-hmm. so congratulations I'm, good. I'm good there thank you and the other one is tabletop simulator which you have to pay for as well oh no i also paid for sentinels of the multiverse because we were playing that for a while um yeah so not not many at all and i here, just uh, go ahead here is the best theory that i think is the most accurate that is listed here okay it says a time traveling railroad baron from the 1800s somehow ended up in the 21st century Doobly. and remains unconvinced that most trains these days are powered by electricity. This baron then says to an underling, Buy me all the steam. Mm. And that person misunderstood. Was the underling also from the 1800s? I don't think so. It, must it doesn't have been say, it doesn't say, but for them to know what steam is, they, they would have had to. <laughs> Search on that there computer and buy me all the steam. Yeah. <laughs> all of them. That's what happened. So I think we can all agree that that is the answer to this entire thing. Oh, okay. I like that. that. That's pretty creative. I liked it. I'm in for it. I hope it's real. I really hope it is real. real. What do you mean? How many games do you think you have that you've not played? Like, let's 
just between us. Um, I don't have that many in my Steam account, but there, no. but I haven't played most of the ones that I have. So I did a humble bundle that I think came with ten. Okay. I don't know, <clears throat> and I've played not that many of those. Okay, so, I think I've not played a couple of mine, but they were just free ones I grabbed. Yeah. I was like, maybe I'll play that. Yeah. I, Do you have any video games that you own they haven't played, like, for a system? No. None at all? No, but if I, I'm looking over here because I have some of my tabletop things over there. Mm, there it is, yeah. There it gotcha. is. Busted. Um, Yukon Salon, never played it after all that. I haven't played it either. Um, video games, I bought Fallout 76 thinking I was going to just jump in and play it, and I went to play it and it had a, an update and to download, and I was like, I'll play it later. Uh, and then it got put on the shelf and I never played it. Um, I was gifted Luigi's Mansion. I haven't played that yet. I heard it's hard. That's what I hear too. I need to find, like, I need to be in the right, the right uh, mind for that. Um, Switch I stuff. Yeah, I haven't played some Switch stuff, but we're talking about like very minimal numbers here. Yeah, so yeah. That just we haven't a, played. A few, a few. I think money grows so, on trees. For this person with the Steam library of 25K, it does. It has to be a press or something like that. A shared account. Like, that they had to be gifted these for reviews. There's Just, no way someone's spending that much money on all those games. I don't know. Hey, for those it of you... It is a mystery here. For those of you listening at home, we want to know how many games are on your shelf of shame? How many games have you purchased that you haven't played? Table, tabletop, video game, RPG, otherwise. Like, we want to know because... We just need to know. That's why yeah. we need to know. We need That's to it. know. And how many games is too many to own? How many games are too many? I don't know. Like, it depends on if you have the space for it. Yeah. I've definitely, like, as far as my my tabletop board games go, like, I have definitely trimmed down my selection. I think that a lot of collectors and a lot of people who get into games, like, they go in this, like, cycle where in the beginning, they just kind of buy anything and everything that they want and they think they might like. Yeah. But as you get moving on, like you realize more of the style of game that you enjoy. So you can kind of drop the fluff and go for the ones that you want. Yeah. Um, so I think <laughs> this person's riding is high right now. I know. Does anyone have any theories about who this is? I think it Dude. could be Bubba. <laughs> <laughs> if he has 25,000 games he got on a PC, team. Because he got a PC going crazy. <laughs> Gotta catch them all sometimes. <laughs> I'm sitting on Steam other times. No, it, if you look at my Steam numbers, it, you may think it's me because my kids will just get on here and mess with Tabletop Simulator. You can kind of like make your own games. And the hours I've played on Steam are like just absurd because <laughs> they'll like they'll leave it sitting up or like they'll play it. I'm trying to figure it out. Wow, so you look like a Steam high roller. The only thing I've played on there that I've sunk a good amount of time into was Stardew Valley. Uh, My tabletop simulator, I have played, according to this, 833 hours. (laughs) So the same amount of time that I've put into Red Dead. Exactly, yeah. (laughs) Yeah, that is so much. There's just no way. Um, Well, go buy some more games, Kate. Yeah, catch up. All right. With all my birthday monies. Ah, that's right. Did you get any Sorry. birthday monies? No. What? I didn't. Maybe next year. Maybe next year. Yeah, big four. <laughs> big four. Oh, that's the money year. That's for sure oh the money year. Oh my gosh. That's so crazy. Yeah. Sometimes I think we're the same age, but I guess not. No, it is kind of weird to me. Um, <laughs> I, I'm hanging out with younger people. It's the glasses. It mm-hmm. makes me seem younger. And hip. Oh, and the backwards hat too. Yeah. It's both probably. Him. Hello, my fellow students. <laughs> <laughs> That's me. Jeez. I just read in the chat that Al has 1,500 hours on Stardew. <laughs> How many golden clocks does he have, though? <laughs> he has a lot. No, never enough. He has at least two. I'm disappointed in you not ever getting those. I just ran out of. <laughs> that's it we're done here wrap it up rant. no i just wrap it, it up really <laughs> i really did run out of uh, 
just, no. just too much. But anyways, that's our that's our big, heavy hitting, riveting story for today. It's a conspiracy mm-hmm. theory about a Steam library. And we'll go through another break and then we're gonna talk about something else. I'm not sure what it is yet, but <laughs> <laughs> But welcome to the Free Play Podcast, everyone, and we'll be right back. Welcome back, everyone. The moment you've been waiting for our outro. <laughs> All episode. Like, can this thing <laughs> finally be over or what? It's, it's, it's that time again. So, Matt, I just wanted to update you on okay. a, really, a really important thing that okay. went down last week. And that is, have you ever heard of the make your own merch movement? I've heard tell. <laughs> I've heard tell. Um. Now, did we get some good, some good ones? We got, we got one. We got one. Because other nope. people in the people in the chat seem to, to have done it. I haven't seen any. I okay. So if you guys did it in the chat, then you need to tag us and like send it in. Because if I you're listening at home, are, and I haven't seen you, I'm just calling you out right now. If you've made your merch, you got to tag us because this, you know, this movement's not going to get going if you don't mm-hmm. tag. But basically what it was is I got inspired because you said you wanted an LTN hat so I put a piece of tape over one of oh, my hats. Oh, I saw. I, are you sending me that hat? No, no. That's the beauty of the movement. Is what about the jean you, jacket? No, no, I no. want I want you to make my stuff. No, the jean jacket is actually a 1989 Rolling Stones tour jean jacket that I got at the thrift store. But I branded it LTN. So. Aren't we the same but, size? No. You sure? Yeah. Be sure. Okay. Be well, sure. what'd we get? What's the, what's the update? <clears throat> well, the update is that like people got to be posting. We said we were going to do a giveaway, right? We need some things. Uh, did we? What are we going to give away? Bubba said, but I don't. I don't know. It's a it's a surprise. The surprise. It could be anything. It could be your own branded LTN merch. It's a surprise. So. Just put tape on. That's the thing is what I'm saying is you can put tape on anything and put, make it say Love mm-hmm. Thy Nerd and then it's yours. People want socks. Rachel, she wanted a sock. She put an LTN sticker on her sock. There it is. Mm-hmm. What? Oh, yeah, I just think tape on a sock sounds terrible for a person with hairy legs. That's why you put it on the sock, not your leg. No, I just feel like things move though. Like, like if, it, move. if you pants just, like you press it down the tape, okay. you press it down really hard. Prove, make sure prove it's it. There. The prove it the later. The prove it later. The <laughs> You'll just have okay. to trust me, okay? Like this thing's gonna take off. I just know it. I cannot wait because I need that hat. You can get your own tape. That's what I'm saying. Get no, I want someone to make mine. I want to put. I want to give them money. Make make it for me. Make to it good. To put tape on a hat and send it to you? No, I want an embroidered one. 
Hand embroidered. That's right. Hand embroidered. Hey, you're not understanding the movement. Then. I am. I am. Because people not. have people have talent and I want them to be able to display it. And then I want right. one of those things they've made. Fine. So there's two different movements then. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Hey, I like the I made a hype. I made a hype video about it. I, my own, I even I put music. That. I even put music underneath it. No, are you going to make me do stuff like that? No, I'm going to do it. Okay. So it was for those who haven't seen it. Check out the free play Instagram, and the, there's going to be a video on there of me wearing a jean jacket. <laughs> so that's the one you're going to want to check out. Okay. Well, but I'll make my own that says "Make Matt Stuff Movement." All right. See. Th- make Matt Merch Movement. There it is. I, kn- I knew it was coming. The word "movement" in it that carries a lot of weight. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I get that. Okay. Well, I'm in. Just and not like weight is in heaviness, but influence. You know what I mean? Oh yeah, I'm an in, I'm an influencer. I get that yeah. stuff all the time. Yeah, for sure, for sure. I have a shirt that says it on there, a hoodie. <sighs> well, now I feel like there's these flaws in the make your own merch movement. <laughs> That's because I wasn't here last week when you announced it, and I I needed I needed to be here. To well, like, it's too late. The look, world already knows holes. about it. It's too late. Okay. It's done. Do whatever you want. Do whatever you want. <laughs> it's done. <laughs> okay. You know. Well, I'm in. Are you? Does it sound like you wanted to do your own thing? No, um, I'm, I'm here for it. I'll make some. <laughs> I'll make up some uh, cutoff jean shorts. LTN cutoff jean shorts. Exactly. See? Okay. 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 There it I'm is. I'm in. It's perfect. All right. Well. Okay. I'll make it after this. On that note, that'll uh, do it for episode 122 of the Free Play Podcast. Be sure to check us out on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Stitcher, SoundCloud, Google Play, YouTube, Radio.com, and LTN Radio, as well as anywhere else podcasts can be found. And if you can't find us somewhere, Too bad. you're out of luck because we're not going to do it. I mean, just if kidding. you can't just find us somewhere, just... like you wouldn't be hearing this message. Just Probably. Let's be honest. That's true. You wouldn't be able to do it. So. Anyways, Sorry. if you're not a part of our Love Finger <laughs> Facebook group, you should join because there's nerds in there and it's fun. Okay. And you should just join. Just take my word for it. All right. That's the community manager. Okay. Well, I'm. What's like, your job title again? <laughs> Why do people keep asking me this today? Sorry, uh, I forgot. <laughs> I'm I'm chief okay, nerd so of community. Okay. It's la- last we said. And it's something to do with community. So there you go. Okay, Tyranny is a community manager, so you're Yes, there you go. I'm, you I'm can curious. also find Love Thy Nerd on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter at Love Thy Nerd. And almost more importantly than that, you can find the Free Play Podcast on Twitter and on Instagram at Free Play Podcast. So, and I say it every week, but I'm saying it again. There's really been some fire content on the Instagram. Mm-hmm. I true. have stuff saved in my phone that's going to go up. Exactly. When? Just I've spread it out across the day. Okay, yeah, you, know, you don't want it's, it's spread out. I don't want to like give people too much good thing mm-hmm. right in one. Yeah, yeah, go raise their heads. Because then I'll I'll waste, you know, all my good stuff and then they'll anyways. <laughs> <laughs> mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Just follow us on the things. And make sure you watch us on Twitch Fridays at 3 p.m. Eastern. Eastern. Yeah. I was trying to you, do the you math. You do the math. From yeah. Pacific time into that time so this outro is really great and not um awkward not awkward at all no, not like, at all or struggle there's no struggle mm-hmm. in it but yeah. just see you next week <laughs> and i'm matt warmbier <laughs> <laughs> i'm kate kotowaki i'm sorry yeah, i forgot about that part because it wasn't written down here well i said it i was fine i follow the script oh my gosh Bye, everybody. Bye. (laughs) You have been listening to the Free Play Podcast with Bubba Stallcup, Matt Warmbier, and Kate Katawaki, part of the Love Thy Nerd Podcast Network. Be sure to rate and review the show and share on all the social media. Not sure what we're doing here. <laughs>
I was hands waiting. Up. Hands I was up. waiting to see us on the other. I know that's usually what I do. That way I know like I'm ready us. to go. What's up, everybody? We were just standing there awkwardly in silence. Dang it, Kate, you're. That needs to be. There we go. You gotta match what? your head distance. What? Don't worry about it. My head. Just, it's yeah. Well, I gotta make sure our heads are are lined up. Oh, I'm standing. Hey, everybody. Hey, everyone. We um. Are it we? me. <laughs> Just so everyone knows, the reason why we look different is because we had a birthdays. Okay. Yeah, that's it. Um, do you want to start the podcast like officially, and then oh, like Bubba, right. then Bubba can be like that can, where he can make the cut. Okay, Hold let's on. start There's from the, the top. Intro. From the hey, top. Bubba's not here, so we don't know what we're doing as much because I don't really pay attention when Bubba does it. Mm-hmm. It just happens that way. So um, this will be interesting. We're doing fine. <laughs> okay, it. look, I'll do the intro. I'll use my Bubba voice. <clears throat> <clears throat> and I'll be Kate. I'll just read it right here. Mm-hmm.